up guys and welcome back to another episode of Fast Lane Pros and today we've got a lot of stuff so as you've seen in the last video we got this thing back together we cannot figure out why it's running hot we put new water pump thermostat flush the radiator thermostat water pump radiator uh -oh. two Wait. thermostats <laughs> Yeah. And we cannot figure out why this thing keeps running hot. Who knows? Could be a slight crack in the heads. Could be radiator stopped up. I'm not quite sure yet, but we're going to get this thing to a good buddy of mine um, and let him get his eyes on it and see what he thinks. But for some reason, we're not getting a flow. I kind of have suspicions that it's the new water pump which we put an AC Delco on it. It should be good, but you never know. Sometimes new parts go bad. So we'll get to, we'll get to that in the next video. But I want to show you guys something. Come with me. So we went to TSC. We picked this up, a little shop fan for the garage. Because it gets super hot in there. And the G8 kind of sits in here and bakes all day. And... We picked up a new engine stand, AC Delco, of course, you know, we're GM fans around here. We do like the Fords, but mainly okay. we're AC Delco. And then we also picked up a new Creeper. Check this thing out. It's really nice. Headrest uh, moves, so you can recline it to whatever you need. Here, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull it out of here, just out of the way. So y'all can see that. How much did we pay for this one? 49 bucks. Now they did have another deal with a stool, or like the rolling stool and this, but it was a different brand. And well, it just wasn't as good as this one. So we picked up this one. This one actually adjusts. So for your neck, or when you're laying down, it's kind of like a little hospital bed. So we picked this up, a new shop vac. We was desperately needing one of those. The one we had was like, since 1993, that thing is super old. It still works. It still works, but we wanted something with a little more power. Pick that up. Um, more we, tools. We've also got a engine hoist coming to match all the AC Delco stuff that we got. And for man behind the camera, we're gonna go ahead and reveal. We bought a OBS Suburban. We picked this thing up for $1,500. It's got a few war wounds, some scratches, but nothing too bad. Um, later on, it can get wrapped, but BJ is gonna put wheels on it. We've already started kind of working on it. We got the back door wouldn't open, we got that fixed. The radio wasn't working, we got that fixed. But this thing has the Vortec, which is really, it, it's really close to the LT1. It runs great. So this is gonna be our, I don't know what we're gonna do with it yet. We haven't, we haven't got quite this decided yet. Next. It. Huh? We're gonna low ride it. He wants to low ride it. Me personally, I'd like to put a new set of wheels off of like a GMC Denali or something and slap on it a set of 20s maybe put it on airbags definitely going to put a system a sound system in this thing we do the AC is all brand new but for some reason uh it just needs to be charged it needs to be charged maybe I don't know but it's not blowing cold but we're going to get that fixed we have one more reveal and then we also picked up for eighteen hundred dollars. Um, it's we put a I've put probably a thousand bucks into it, but <clears throat> we finally got it right. It's running great. But another F body, a two thousand two um, T tops. It is yeah. a six cylinder, which will be LS swapped. Oh, it's, it's locked. locked. Unlock it and pop that hood. It's got Z06 wheels on it. Just like my car. But 
it's, it's it's pretty clean car this is project hammerhead or it was but it's looking good i like the steering wheel cover that's on it i like the floor mats he's got the camaro floor mats in it hey i really like this car it's just it's it's really going to be a project which is kind of good i mean you want a project that's what i'm aiming for mine mine turned in you know to be ready to go and now mine's turning into a full rebuild completely monster project that i'm redoing and he's going to be right along with me and he's going to be rebuilding this and swapping it now it will not be a lt1 let's pop this hood but this is going to be an ls swap we're probably going to 5.3 it maybe 6.0 not quite sure yet lq lq4 i actually bought this car for my brother raymond which has never been on the channel before um so hello guys with that being said we've done a ton of work to this thing already we got a new water pump on it we got all new radiator hoses but this was a co-park car um it was parked since 2012 so it's been sitting up for seven years so a lot of things went wrong you know little things but we needed a new coolant jug we put a new coolant jug on it because it was busted at the bottom water of pump it. new hoses uh new tires toyo tires you bought one it came with two. I, yeah I, bought, I actually bought one we bought i bought one tire and they sent me another one for free i was like that was a real shocker but yeah. it's okay because you know what we kept those tires and once my car is ready and it is built you already know what's going to happen with those tires. Yeah, those, mm. those have now become burner tires. Maybe if the car's even <laughs> ready, maybe, just maybe, August 24th, Cletus and Cars, it might get roasted. But it's not a for sure because my car is still having issues and just, it's being a real pain in the butt right now. What's going on, guys? We have BJ over here with the bourbon. It's an LT1. Um... Brand new alternator, it pretty much looks like. But yeah, it's LT1. Runs great. No problems. It's actually been rebuilt. That motor has been rebuilt. Yeah. It just needs to um, charge in the AC. Hopefully, that's what it is to fix the AC. He fixed the radio in it already. But yeah, the back door wouldn't open. A uh, couple, couple of little details like plastic pieces, things like that, been put back in place. And Jonathan helped me clean the engine. Yeah, I cleaned it up all it. up, guys. I have mothers everything on this car. I spent about four to five hours on this car. I'm talking, I got down. I sprayed everything that needed to be sprayed with WD-40, which this isn't as bad, but it still has a little bit of noise. I did everything. But... All right, so I'll catch you all whenever we go. Look at this. Oh, car, I'll catch you guys later. Alrighty guys, so we had to come over here, pick up an engine hoist. We're gonna do some work at the house. We're gonna start stripping down the LT1 we got in the garage for Jonathan's Camaro. So let's get this thing loaded and get back to the house. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
what's up guys we made it back to the house let's get this thing unloaded get the g8 pulled out and get this motor up on this hoist let's go hey bj i need the house key dog let's go let's run on in the house Get this broke open just like that get that together let's get the ga and let's get it out priscilla please wake up If there's a smudge on the camera, guys, I am just trying to get the G8. Let's fix that. All right, that should whoop copyright. Okay, so the fan, we have to get it out because it is hot. So the fan. It's already out, we already have it running, so let's get into the engine stand and let's start getting this thing unboxed. Let's go. Okay, and then this one I'm just gonna check that. together but we they did it did not come with bolts yes we have it but we're gonna go to a hardware store and we need bolts long enough to go through this and then into the block so we gotta go to a hardware store let's go so we put everything in the garage and now we're gonna take a ride in the g8 let's get it <laughs> Okay guys, we have arrived at O'Reilly, so uh, we need to get some bolts, and then BJ needs to make a stop for the bourbon. Not my place to say, but we will catch you guys when we get inside O'Reilly. Let's go! Okay, so we just left O'Reilly. Um, if you are the guy that works at O'Reilly that we just stopped at, and you were asking about the G8, I gave you the channel, go check it out. If you see this, shout out to you, man. And yeah.
Alrighty guys, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. We got the motor on the engine stand. Next will be to start breaking it down. Uh, get the heads to a head shot, pull the oil pan off. I think we're gonna go ahead and go with new main bearings. We may re-ring it, hone it out and re-ring it and get this thing ready for boost. <laughs> But yeah. next video, we should be taking the heads yeah, and the we'll intake. Yeah, we'll be pulling in, taking the heads off, flipping it over, pulling the oil pan off. And then next project after that is going to be to get the LT1 out of the car. Yes, sir. So, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to wrap this up. we got to get the engine stand back. And we have some errands to run today. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. Monday well today's Monday it should be up today so make sure y'all have a wonderful day and don't forget to like share and subscribe and make sure for most of y'all turn on the post notification be a part of the squad go check our Instagram and Facebook they will be down below but make sure you stay tuned for this LT1 and we'll catch you guys later peace, peace.